Madam Speaker, Planned Parenthood is the world's largest promoter and provider of abortion on demand for any reason or for no reason. With almost 900 clinics in this nation alone, it is by far the largest abortion provider in America and accounts for one in five of all abortions performed in this country. But because this giant billion-dollar death-dealing organization operates under the disguise of a family planning charity, it receives over $330 million of American taxpayers' money every single year. Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, has long since passed away. But the legacy of her work lives on, Madam Speaker. She once said, quote, we don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population, unquote. Her insidious vision of a world where her ideal of the survival of the fittest is advanced through race-targeted abortions continues to thrive through the deliberate expansion of Planned Parenthood, Parenthood clinics in the high minority populations of this country. Both the Allen Guttmacher Institute and the Center for Disease Control have reported that a huge majority of abortion clinics are located in minority neighborhoods, and some experts estimate that number to be higher than 75 percent. While African Americans represent approximately 13 percent of our population, more than 35 percent of abortions are performed on African Americans. In fact, more than one in three abortions performed by Planned Parenthood are performed on little African American babies. Recent internet postings reveal Planned Parenthood's willingness to accept donations specifically earmarked for the abortion of an African American baby. In other words, Madam Speaker, a willingness to accept money specifically designated to kill a baby for no other reason than that he or she was black. 150 years ago, the infamous Dred Scott decision of the United States Supreme Court declared that the black man was not a person under the Constitution. That decision put the Supreme Court's legal imprimatur on a practice that had brutally enslaved more than four million innocent human beings from Africa. It took a horrible civil war to reverse that despicable decision. It also took the courage and ultimately the life of President Abraham Lincoln, who had guided America through those dark moments because he believed in a day that would one day come when the black man and the white man could walk together in the sunlight of human freedom. And more than a century later, Dr. Martin Luther King stood on the steps of the memorial dedicated to President Lincoln and gave a speech that would forever change the course of human history because it reminded America of her creed that all men are still created equal. And it helped Americans to finally begin once and for all to put away the evil of bigotry and prejudice against their fellow human beings of a different skin color. It was a great day, Madam Speaker. But only 10 years later, our memories would wane again. And another Supreme Court decision called Roe v. Wade, along with the help of Planned Parenthood, precipitated the murder of more than 12 million African-American babies. Madam Speaker, every victory gained in the battle to defeat slavery, every accomplishment that came through the Civil Rights Movement is being completely overshadowed by this unspeakable tragedy. It is time that Americans stood up together again and remembered that we are the same America that rejected human slavery and worked to overturn decisions by our own courts, whether in the Dred Scott decision of 1857 or the Jim Crow laws that continued through the 1960s. And we are still courageous and compassionate enough to stop the funding of a bigoted organization like Planned Parenthood. Madam Speaker, it has been said that a government is what it spends. For this government to continue to appropriate one more penny of the American taxpayer's money to an organization that kills unborn children on the basis of race or for any other reprehensible reason is a disgrace that undermines the core essence of America and betrays everything that our soldiers lying out in Arlington National Cemetery 